Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to yet another episode on your favorite Little Slava YouTube channel. So today in this video, we're going to see how to convert a JMeter script to K6 script. I mean, we all know um, both JMeter and K6 are open source testing and you don't need to pay anything for license and both uh, JMeter and K6 has uh, the command line interface and uh, the JMeter is created uh, I mean like it, it has been uh, once it create you, we get a XML format which which you normally save it as .jmx format but on the other hand the K6 script uh, work as a K, uh, works as a JavaScript file so if you want to run a K6 script we run uh, run we use run and then K6 and then the JavaScript file which will run the test with with whatever uh, the load whatever uh, the executor plan that we have will be executed uh, and that's that's more uh, useful for us to uh, run a test with with very less with less resources and it's very simple as well. So coming back to this point, yes. So I have got this request in in our WhatsApp group. Mm, one of our subscriber had requested me to do this, so I am doing this video for for them and like many of you also might be uh, checking this video. So uh, this is me, Yasin uh, Shanmugam. I welcome you all to our little slide YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet, and please do share the channel with your friends or colleagues your peers and um, don't forget to like this video if you really like this and then coming back to this video uh let me uh first create a script so if you know how to create a jmeter script you can skip this part but the reason i'm showing you is this will definitely help you uh in the end part like while you are converting it to your case script you'll definitely uh, understand why i'm <laughs> doing this part now so let's start with the first step that is creating the jmeter script and let me go on file templates and uh, start the sorry the recording recording create create and yeah just to let you know so i'm doing i'm going to create a jmeter script it's going to be a very simple script it's just a few steps and uh, enable this uh, click on start okay and i'm going to use my mozilla firefox for this recording since i have uh, i mean we all know the Chrome uh, Edge and other browsers has the system settings, but Mozilla does not have it. Does not have the system proxy. It has its own proxy. And it's always I I'll, I always advise you to use Firefox as well in your machine so that um, you can try whatever you want to try. And now uh, let me go with the store. Yeah, and let's now start the first transaction. Enter the store, and let's do the second step. Let's sign in. Okay, I did click on so okay, this is going to be the third script which is going to be the login and the fourth one is going to be sign out. So yeah, just I told you it's it's very simple script. So in case if you have a very complex script, you see, yeah, I always welcome you to do that. Stop and then the uh, scripting is completed and let's go to the third group recording controller. Yep, we can delete this very well. It's not required. Coming back to the second step, we'll look for the um requests remove it if you really do not want that to be part of the script yep this is needed this is needed needed required for our last one see uh, we can remove it yep so the very first step of uh okay uh let me just get this one as well patch jmeter bin jmeter to k6 yes and it is going to be script to jmx yep so this is the first uh, second script and now so we are we have completed whatever we want to do in the jmeter side so, so the next thing is we have to open up either you can use the power command uh, i mean like command prompt or partial uh, my favorite is partial so i'm going to use the partial in admin mode and then the first step is we have to install the jmeter to k6 installation and for that i'm going to use npm sorry npm install minus g jmeter to k6 and if you are facing any issues in installing the npm you can watch one of my previous video where i have i can even check that by the time it gets installed um NPM. yep so this here is the video you can very well watch that so if if you find that npm is not recognized as an internal external command you can very well use this 
and this will help you to uh, this video will help you to uh, install the npm in your machine successfully and then coming back to this one yes so i have installed the npm uh, i mean the npm installed minus jmeter to k6 so that's the very first basic thing that we need to have in our machine before we even have um, before i mean to, to do the conversion we need to uh, get this installed and then the next part is um, we are going to convert the file so that's that's very simple and for that we are going to use this command and before that we need two more things uh, let me get this for you and here i have my so this is the location where i want to um, bring in the k6 file and then the next thing is this is the place where i want i have my file so basically uh where is that j to k6 yep so this is the location where i have my file so uh, the reason i'm telling you is we have we need to know this before we do run this test so i'm in the um partial now and what i'll do is let me enter the command which is jmeter 2 k6 minus o and then the first part is we are going to bring in the directory location where we want to set the file so i'm just copying this location c drive or something k6 pasting it space and then the next thing is i'm going to give my bin i mean the file which i, which I want to convert so i want to convert my script to uh, sorry guys that's file yep. i want to convert my script to jmx so let me copy all this file location go back to partial paste it here add a slash and then script to jmx so this will get the file to be converted and let me give an enter yep. so this is expected so let me tell you what happens so here on the very first error you can see uh, it is recognizing unrecognized cookie manager property so what we'll do is let's go to the uh, jmeter and here we have the cookie manager remove it we don't we don't require it for for k6 the cookie part go back let's do it again and now here you can see um we have got the recording controller and another unrecognized element because the k6 does not have any recording controller so uh, let's go back to jmeter remove okay here we have the recording controller right so what we have to do is let me copy all these sorry uh, select all these bring it to the thread group so that's the reason i wanted you to see uh, my recording so while you record we all we have all these it's the default thing with jmeter and when we are using this in our script we definitely will have to handle this so now uh, let me delete or let me remove this so now i have my script and just to let you know uh, let me just quickly run the script so that i can show you uh, where everything works fine in my script oh, sorry uh, view results tree yep. everything works fine uh gender sample just to uh make this more presentable i'm just changing this way save clear run yep so everything works fine uh there are no issues so now we are good to Convert it again. Let me go back to my PowerShell. Jmeter to K6 minus O, and then the uh, directory where I want to convert, and then the file name which I want to convert, giving enter, then the proxy control. Yes. Let me go back to Jmeter. Select this proxy part where we use it for recording. Remove it. Yes. Save. Again, come back to the PowerShell. Do the conversion. Yep. So now. Can okay, we will see here? So we have started the conversion of the script to the JMX, and then the success uh, successfully we have created the test at C drive version folder k6 test.js. So let's go back to the k6 folder and test.js is here. So what we'll do now is let's run the test.js file. And for that, we all know the command that is um, run. Uh, let me maximize this. Yep. And it's going to be k6 space up before that uh let me get into that folder k6 yes now we are in the folder and now what we'll do is k6 space run test.js and this yes is it's running the test and here you can see the first transaction second transaction third and fourth running up to one looping one virtual user for one second for one stages yes that's what we have here one user 
one ramp up period with one looping. So in case if I have changed it before I bring it to the K6, it might have, some, it might have changed. And uh, yes, so it's running with one scenario, one max V uses in 31 seconds as the maximum duration for the test. And here we can see there are no errors. Um, zero phone which uses completed. And um, just to check, so here these are the minimum transactions and the maximum average response. And so you all know about that, how to do that. In K6, you all know how to record that. And yeah, even we have another video on, um, let me just get that part for you. Uh, that's where we can get the um, HTML, I mean, the K6 report in a HTML format, right? So you must have seen it already. So yeah, that's, uh, I think, yeah, it's here. Yeah, it's here. So um, how to view results in HTML in K6. So you can run that command line and then you can get your results in HTML format. So yeah, with that, I come to an end of this video and I believe this video will be very useful to you. And if and in fact, I've created another video on uh, K6 Studio. If you haven't watched it yet, please do watch that video as well. And that will be very helpful for you. And if you have any doubts or any questions, please do comment that in the comment section. And you can even, uh, even welcome you to WhatsApp group where we have like more than 500 plus brilliant minds who are helping us. And um, uh, yeah, before I sign off, please don't forget to share, subscribe and like this video. And like my channel, share, subscribe my channel. Thanks so much for watching the video. Until then, uh, until, I mean, uh, until we meet you in our next videos. Bye bye for us and women. If you're a little side to channel, take care and bye bye.